I must admit this party was a wonderful idea, Mr. Secretary. It's a bit like saying I'm going up before the committee in five days, but my conscience is clear. The most important people in New York are my guests. It's going to be a night to remember. Especially if the house blows up. Where are you putting the next bomb? In the freezer? Or in the toilet, hmm? You can't even think straight anymore. I'll tell you something. There's a waiting list of people who'd like to send flowers to your funeral. I could point out ten of them right now, if you'd like me to. Yes. But none of them wants to read my obituary in front of the committee as much as you do. You and your union. We just want to resolve this situation clean and legal. I've heard that same song from you for 35 fucking years. Who do you think you're talking to? I helped you to make a fortune, you and the rest of those parasites. It was a reasonable anything. arrangement between labor and management. Two percent for them and 40 percent for you. You defend them and you screw them. Come on. And the story of your life. Think anybody believes you anymore? Some. But no one believes in you anymore. Because you've made mistakes and I haven't. But that's beside the point. The important thing right now is that you and I straighten out these transfers of authority. Now, it's all as we've agreed. I've had our lawyers draw it up. All you have to do is sign. My last will. You are in no position to exercise your will. I give up everything. Twelve percent will be set aside for your boy. That way he can be assured of living to a ripe old age. Or not, if I don't sign. Why don't you take care of this yourself, Max? I'd be very happy for you tonight if, during all the noise of the party, I heard a shot. Maybe you will. 